God damn it. Where is it? Oh, what is up guys? Welcome back to another episode here on Above Average. No, 321. What is up guys? Welcome back to another episode here on Above Average. No, I don't like that either. No, just be yourself. Just be yourself. What is up guys? Welcome back to another episode here on Above Average. If you're new to the channel, feel free to leave a like, uh, drop a comment down below and subscribe. You're probably wondering, Trevor, what's with uh, the very small uh, Team Canada jersey you're wearing. Well, in this episode, we're talking about the Pittsburgh Penguins, and I don't have a Penguins jersey, but what I do have is a Sydney. Oh shit! Is a Sydney Crosby jersey. Yeah, kind of cool, eh? Not bad. I got this when I was 12, and uh, as you can see, it doesn't really fit me anymore. But I wanted to wear it because it's uh, it's actually got a lot of meaning. I wore this actually at. Uh, I'll show the photo right now. I was actually. Uh, if you're if you're new to the channel, I do the show with my buddy Brady Pavka. That's uh, me and him. Uh, we were we watched Team Canada beat Slovakia at the Vancouver 2010 Olympics, and uh, yeah, it was it was a cool what, like what an experience. Um, I got all these pins from Vancouver. Yeah, uh, the I was I was there for Sidney Crosby, the Golden Goal. Yeah, so we're talking about Sidney Crosby and your Pittsburgh Penguins, uh, Penguins fans. Thanks for thanks for clicking on the video. Uh, coming from an Oilers fan, Penguins fans, uh, I really like your team. This is sick. Obviously, Sidney Crosby, Evgeny Malkin, the newly acquired Eric Carlson. They're definitely going for it this year. And in this video, I'm just going to break down their lineup. Uh, what what to expect? What should you Penguins fans expect? And it's always nice to hear an outsider's opinion. So that's. What what I'm going to be giving you today right out of the gate let's take a look at their lineup okay we all know uh, we all know the, the news which it's not the greatest news but Jake Gensel he's out he's expected to miss little time he could miss just like like five games so it's nothing too crazy so when he's back you know this this offense will look a heck of a whole lot better and it already looks pretty good um, the second Jake Gensel gets back I'm just gonna move Riley Smith down to the second line left wing then you got Jake Gensel uh, top left Sidney Crosby Ricard Raquel I mean, Sid's still got it. He's probably not, you know, a top five player in the NHL anymore. Probably a top 10 though. You could argue still top 10. He's still a point per game player. And uh, I'm pretty sure it's this season. He could be uh, the longest like point per game player the NHL has ever had. It's gonna be like 19 seasons in a row. He's been a point per game player. If I'm wrong, I, I know it's something like that. It might be 18 seasons, but I'm pretty sure he tied Wayne Gretzky this year and uh, or this last year and this coming up year, he can break it. So kind of crazy, or maybe he already broke it. I don't know, but uh, fact check that someone don't tell me I'm an idiot because I know I might not be right there. But regardless, you got a second line of Riley Smith, Evgeny Malkin and Brian Rust. Brian Rust, I mean, he's he's just a consistent, you know, 40, 50 point player. He does everything right. He's pretty reliable defensively, and he can also chip in offensively uh, every now and then. Gino Malkin, he's kind of like Crosby, right? This That's why I, in the thumbnail, one last hoorah. These, this is really their last hoorah. A lot of these guys, you know, who knows? Sid can retire probably in like the next four or five years, which is crazy to think. Because if you're a Canadian boy like me, you grow up, it's Sidney Crosby. You got the Tim Hortons commercials I don't have anything Tim Hortons related in my room at the moment but I usually do but I mean you got Tim Hortons commercials Sid the kid uh, the Timbits the the, the freaking he's uh, he's the guy right Sidney Crosby is gonna go down as one of the best players to ever play the game and uh, it's pretty cool it's pretty cool for sure that's why I got his jersey but um, he's still he's still one of the best captains in the league one of the best like all he's probably Regardless of his age, Sidney Crosby's still probably the best all-around player in the NHL, which is just crazy, because what is he now? 36, 37? Let me know. Oh yeah, 36, that was my first guess. Yes, the kid from Cole Harbor. Uh, Sid the kid, that's what they call him. Sid the kid, good player, good player. That's Don Cherry, if you don't get it. Um, yeah, they're they're looking to make a uh, you know a run back to the playoffs this year. This was their first year uh, not getting into the playoffs in almost 20 years, which was like the longest streak in like North America for all the four uh, North American sports, major North American sports: football, baseball, basketball, and hockey. Um, and they were the they had the longest streak uh, going into the playoffs. It was. Like, 17 years I mean, man i'm just off on these numbers i'm sorry i should have looked them up but I, i've read them so I'm, I'm giving you the channel's name above average we're above average we're not perfect here okay yeah but as for their lineup again uh right down the middle i mean lars eller third line center nothing crazy you got the old vet jeff carter the thing about this team they got a lot of those like old guys right jeff carter he's uh he's 
chugging along, which is kind of funny. Drew O'Connor, uh, nothing special, nothing to write home about there. Uh, you got Matt Nieto, Nolachar, and Rem Pitlick for fourth line. Honestly, I like their fourth line better than their uh, third line. And like I said, I say this in all the videos, guys, this is just that what they have. It's, it's not going to be like this throughout the whole season. It's going to be like... The, the fact of the matter is, like, these teams, they, they're like, every day, it's like, oh, this is the lineup, but if you're like the Oilers, I mean, the Penguins probably change up their lineup if they're sucking within, like, the first five minutes of every game, right? It happens. This isn't set in stone, and I forgot to mention Alex Nylander, brother of William Nylander, who has been nothing but a disappointment, and I was really big on Alex Nylander. Um, he still hasn't really lived up to his name, uh, lived up to the hype. Uh, he was a top, he was a top 10 pick. And he sucked. He sucked. He hasn't done great at all. But um, on defense, I really like, I really, really, really like your guys' defense. Uh, you got Ryan Graves. True story. I actually worked with Ryan Graves' mom at a dealership uh, like two years ago. So kind of cool. Thought I'd tell you that. Uh, Ryan Graves, really good player. Uh, he's kind of been moving around the last few years. He obviously played for Colorado, then got traded. Then Colorado wins the cup. And uh, tomato, tomato, you live and you learn. That sucks. Anyway, and then he went to New Jersey, put up okay numbers. And now he's in Pittsburgh. I think he's a great, I think he's a great player for Pittsburgh. You know, he's still a young, you know, he's a pretty uh, mobile defenseman. Nothing, nothing crazy about him, but he's, he, he does everything right. I, I like Ryan Graves quite a bit. Uh, you got uh, kind of like uh, Jeff Carter, kind of like Malkin, kind of like freaking Sid the Kid. Chris Lestang, uh, Chris Lestang, Chris Lestang, uh, good Canadian boy. Uh, what style he has. We all know the charm that this guy brings to the ice, the swagger, uh, great right hand shot. Um, silky hands too, right? There's not a lot of defensemen that uh, they put out in the shootout, but Chris Letang, he's one that uh, he can definitely put the puck in the back of the net and uh, he can do it with such style too. Look at that guy. What a stud. Uh, second line, you got Marcus Pedersen and Eric Carlson. Okay, that's the big one. Sidney Crosby and Eric Carlson. Eric Carlson's coming off a career year. 100 points. 100 points on a shit. A shit. They were so shit. Uh, San Jose Sharks team, right? So, it's, it's going to be a huge adjustment, but I think he's going to fit in so well. He's going to look so good. Yeah, yo, man. I cannot wait to see the highlights that Sid the Kid and Eric Carlson put up next year. It's going to be fun to watch. And uh, really, I mean, that's that that puts them in back in contention. Getting a player like Eric Carlson, yeah, he, he's pretty well like a forward that they just threw on the back end. Like, I, I don't know why he is a defenseman because of the numbers he puts up. And he's never been known for being a, just a, a dominant uh, defender. You know what I mean? like he he can lay the body every now and then as we've seen time and time but um yeah it's it's mainly his offensive prowess is well he's just going to bring so much to the to the penguins it's it's going to be fun to see imagine them in their prime right like that's the best that's like he's a first he's a ballot you know first ballot hall of famer um one of the best like in my era my upbringing one of the best defensemen um i watched growing up if not the best right he probably was the best most consistent for sure crazy shot crazy iq uh just and he, he brought it back he brought it back last year so it was so cool to see and penguins fans i don't know about you oh man i i did videos about this guy coming to edmonton i'm like this is gonna be sick so i can't imagine how you guys are feeling seeing eric carlson just can you imagine this eric carlson to sydney crosby he shoots he scores holy shit. uh let's go home ladies and gentlemen yeah so it's gonna be cool to see and your last line you got joseph and ruedel ah. I mean, nothing crazy. That's pretty well standard for every team. They got two two of those caliber players. Uh, yeah, I mean, whatever. I'm not going to say too much about them. But um, all in all, I mean, uh, the one thing... It's going to help once you get Jake Ansel back. Obviously, your offense is like just all around. The, the team looks good. It looks better than last year. They, they are going to make the playoffs this year. I'd be very surprised if they didn't, unless something unforeseen happens. The, the Penguins should be a lock to uh, make the playoffs. And uh, coming from, you know... Uh, and that's, you know, I'm as diehard a hockey fan as they come, so I'm ex I'm super excited to see what uh, the Penguins do next season. Um, as for goalies, they got Alex Nedeljkovic as the backup and Tristan Jari. So that's, you know, kind of, it's not the best, it's not the worst. Tristan Jari, he has shown spurts of being like a really good number one, and uh, then he showed spurts of just sucking. So next year, uh, like this team really... De all depends on how good their goaltending is going to be. Um, I think they have the they they can outscore the opposition. Uh, I think they can out defend the opposition, and that kind of intertwines with goaltending. But the, can they out goalie the opposition? Can they can they let in less goals? Um, 
that I guess that's that's I'll leave that to you. Uh, what are your biggest concerns for this upcoming season, Penguins fans? Uh, if you're new to the channel, feel free to leave a like. We are like five away from 3,000 subs. 3,000, okay? Let's smash that subscribe button. If you like all things hockey, feel free to leave a like and subscribe. That's all I got for this one, Penguins fans. Don't be average when you can be above average. And I'll see you in the next one. Peace.